Yeah, that, that's the mark of a of a real good player there. He's he's always watching, always always observant. Oh, um, yeah. Unfortunately, Nemo doing a bit of the uh, bit of the Jeep stuff there, not really paying attention to uh, much. <laughs> Poor guy. But I have to say, Jinx is, uh, has accumulated quite a lot of minerals there, which is odd for someone of Jinx's caliber. Oh my, Jesus, yeah, you're right. Um, you know, he, he, he maybe could have tossed down a Roach Warren and, and pretty much swarmed the, the, the Protoss by now with, like, a, all of those minerals. He could have pumped out so many Roaches, it would have been disgusting. Uh, yeah, seeing as he knows that the Protoss is not going air of any sort, he, he would dominate. Yeah, looks like we're going to see a little push out here. Or no, maybe he's just going to take down the debris in front of the gold. Uh, the destructible rocks, that is. Okay, or so he's not going to do it. Now nah, 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 he's decided <laughs> that he'll do it. That and yeah, weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he just wanted to get a good position for the zealots and whatever. And so he laid down the pylon there. Maybe lay some cannons around there. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the zerg is double expanding. Uh, I guess that's a good way to use up your extra minerals. But I'd still like to see like a a, a whole bunch of roaches, though. Uh, an auxiliary hatchery, maybe as well, uh, or two. Jeez, I don't know. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Uh, well, any kind of tech at this point. I mean, he's already no. He's only just getting his lair now. So, <laughs> uh, or, or is he going for a hive? No, that that would be a hive because he, he wouldn't no have uh, infestors if he didn't have a lair. There, big guy. That's true, that's true. I lost track there. Uh, I woke up not too long ago. Yeah, you're right. I know. I, I, I've been having trouble <laughs> sleeping, too, imagine. Oh, yeah, I do. Um, I haven't had my vitamins today either, or my coffee, so, you know, I'm uh, I'm not on the ball either, but... Uh, well, you know, it doesn't look like either of these plays too much on the ball. <laughs> oh, there's a, there's, there's, a, there's a bit of good creep spread coming out now. He wasn't concentrating on, on that very much before. Um, he's laid down three three tumors over there. That's that's useful if he continues with it. Um, let's see what he what he does here. I mean, there's only a handful of stalkers and some zealots there, and all he has is infestors and zerglings. Well, these infestors are going to be effective. I can tell you that right now. I'm pretty sure that his fungal growth play is. Uh... Yeah, the fungal growth would be a lot more useful if he had roaches. Oh, roaches, yeah, they'd, they'd be pretty good in that, but maybe he's just trying to come up with some creative play with uh, just Zerglings and Infestors right now. Oh, looks like he's going, uh, the Protoss is going to push into the, the gold base of Jinx. Oh, he's going to get oh, surrounded, it's going to be nasty. Yes. Good force fields, though, good force fields. Uh, left a little spot there, that's not great, but, uh... Oh, okay. oh look at all those Infested Infested terrors. Terrors. I can see where he's going with this. Okay, fair enough. Oh, jeez, I, I just noticed now, I just put, um my mouse over the, the stats of the infested Terran, and you know what? They do 8 damage at 0.86 seconds. That's that's more than a marine. That's that's kind of sick. It's it's pretty good, uh, actually. I mean, I've seen people who just go like uh, a whole pack of, in, of infestors and they just toss out infested Terrans and they do quite a bit of damage with those damn things. He, uh, if Nemo were, you know, not like my caliber of player, he'd be uh, dropping down to Templar Archives right now. Um, Templar, in this in this situation, would be very, very useful to take out those Zerglings in no time at all, and maybe feed back an Infestor or two, because <laughs> an Infestor at uh, half energy will still die from a feedback. So, yeah, come on, Nemo. Don't, don't be like me. Don't be garbage. <laughs> Push out some Templar. You'd have this. He has the gas, too. Yeah. He's, he, <clears throat> his economy is pretty stable right now. I mean, he's got around 62 probes. He's got the gold up. Uh, he's got the opportunity here to actually push out some uh, tech. I mean, he's got that robotics facility doing what? There's nothing there. He could definitely lay down a Robo Bay, or at least go Stargate or something like that, because he will need something along the lines of the Colossus uh, to take on all those Zerglings. The splash damage would be devastating. Well, it would, but a more immediate uh, resolution to this situation, now that Ultras are on the field, I don't know, but a more immediate resolution would be to get a couple of Templar, man. They, they, would, they would fix that up in no time at all, and then once their energy was expended, make some Archons and just drive them into the Zerglings. This would have been GG. <laughs> or not, I don't know. <laughs> if you'd put well, out some Templar. We don't know. Uh, I, actually, I'm going to have to agree fully with your analysis there. The Templar would be the, the, the best immediate reaction that I would come up with. 
because, I mean, look look at his gateway count, warp gate count, that is. I mean, he's got five in his main, and he's got six outside uh, his natural. So, we got 11 going? He could just pump out those Templar in no time, and he's got 1,500 gas. He's got he's got everything he needs to, to, to shut this whole thing down. Uh, unfortunately, his, uh, his second expansion, his third base, just got taken out by those pesky Zerglings. Uh, let's see what happens here. Does he even have Zealot Knives? Yeah, he does. Um... Man, those damn fast Zerglings. So annoying. Um, yeah. I mean, in, in CVP, yeah. I would always like to see the Pokes lay down some cannons to prevent those those kind of Zergling runbys. At least, you know, keep them near the, the Nexus or around the, the mineral line yeah, to prevent course. those. Because it's just the most annoying thing in the world. Well, it certainly is. Um, but you know what? I don't think this game's going to go in his favor very much right now. I mean, the Infestors, those annoying little Zerglings, and a whole bunch of Ultras. This, uh, nah, this ain't gonna work out so good for him. Absolutely not. No, it's not looking good. These Ultralists have uh, good upgrades going so far. Four armor. Hold on a uh, second, hold on a second. He, he, we're talking a bit early. For some reason, he decides to leave half of his army on, on the west side there, and he said, nah, I don't need my whole army to take you out. Watch, no. as I use only half to kill all of your Ultras. And he did, which is odd and surprising. That's definitely confidence for you, jeez. And I just noticed here that his stalkers have got the plus three upgrades on their, their, their weapons, and that is actually extremely effective against the Ultralists. Of course uh, it is, of course it is. Because they do 17 to oh. armor. And going we're getting a bit of lag here from you. Me? Terrific, man, terrific. Are you there? Um, yeah, you know what that is? Um, that's, that's, that's Vodafone, actually. There you go, bad publicity for Vodafone. Um... Yeah. What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to, to, to the other connection uh, if we want to cast again. Because uh, I, I forgot Vodafone recently has been... Uh, well, it's been a bitch. just going to go ahead and say it. It's been a bitch. That's fine. That's fine. Looks um, like we're going to put the, the whole... Are you over 18 to, to get into this channel? Because uh, we're just cursing way too often. I I didn't curse about anything. Bitches? Bitch? Fine, yeah. You get you get to see that on daytime programming. Get your stalkers away. No, uh, and he has no. blink. I just don't understand. He gets blank and doesn't use it, but uh, maybe he just forgot that he had it. Um, I just don't think he was paying any attention to those stalkers because he was busy probably warping in more somewhere else. Uh, I guess his multitasking isn't exactly refined yet. Please, please, for the love of all that is decent and holy, pump out some Templar, man. Even now they'd be useful. Yeah. Oh. Just this basic composition of zealots and then, well, just a mixture of warp gate units. That's just not gonna uh, cut it for the infestors and the ultralists. I mean, well, look it's not at those gonna cut it for anything later than a than a ten minute game. Come on, man. He needs a little something else. Zealots and stalkers, potent. If it's early. Yeah. Oh, look, a little use of the blink there, uh, and he's using uh, a little bit of scoot and shoot. But there's just not gonna be enough to take on those three fatties. And now the infestors are moving in closer to the gold mineral line and throwing in some infested terrans to just make sure that he doesn't have any more income in that. This is just going to be a yeah. You're absolutely right. This is just going to be a slow uh, a slow decline here for the Protoss player. And um, yeah, that's it. There it goes. Well, it's a faster decline then. But uh, I have to say, not not as um, jinx as I was expecting. No disrespect to Nemo, of course. Uh, you know, he he handled himself fine. He just he's got to be less like Jeeves and a little more like well you. And. Uh, you know, try to tech up beyond tier one units. Um, as far as Jinx is concerned, though, I gotta say it was not as tight as I was expecting. Yeah, they, I, I, it's his first game of the day as well, and he hasn't played much in a while because uh, his misses has always been around. Something that's always been the case for me, but uh, now that that's not really the case, um, I'll have more time to actually improve. Maybe even go into the Masters League. No, that's true, that's true. Nice that you still managed to, like, work that into the cast, though. So kind of you. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one day when she looks at this, she'll say, oh, I made the right choice in abandoning this nerd. Ha, ha, ha. Well, well, definitely she made the right choice for all of our, like, seven viewers. And, uh, <laughs> they all appreciate it, I'm sure. Uh, anyway, I guess, I guess there's not much to add to that. Uh, Nemo played pretty well. Just, uh, you know, try to tech up beyond Tier 1, Jinx. I don't know, maybe have a little more coffee. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely uh, still half asleep on that one. His macro was pretty awful. But, well, we'll see. I've never seen a, a game played out like that from him. Maybe he was just uh, just getting warmed up with that one. Yeah, maybe. Maybe 
I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anyway, guess we'll end it here. Uh, tune in next time. Bye-bye.